Next story is about a DEA agent who died trying to keep drugs off of American streets. His heinous death made headlines around the country decades ago. And today, millions of students wore red ribbons in his honor, pledging to stay drug free. As Meg Ferris reports, the agent's widow traveled to New Orleans to keep his mission alive. DEA Special Agent Enrique Camarena was only in his late 30s when he was kidnapped and killed by drug traffickers in Mexico in 1985. Since then, his widow continues his mission. <sighs> Enrique lived a short life, but he accomplished so much. He was a good father, a good husband, and a spectacular DEA agent. And we miss him very much. New Orleans DEA agents joined her at Nelson Charter School in Gentilly for Red Ribbon Week, the week named in her late husband's honor. She still sheds tears when she delivers her message of how deadly drugs are. I learned to understand his work more after he left, and I realized that the community was needed to do a lot more. We needed to help law enforcement. Yes, sir. Nelson students got to see an NOPD canine officer in action, finding hidden drugs. And the DEA flew a surveillance helicopter to the school to give the children a hands-on tour. It was good. I, I wanted to fly in one. I don't see how I feel. But while the day was entertaining, the serious message was not lost. It touched my heart because he tried to, he tried to stop drugs from harming other people, but it seems like other people wanted drugs to harm people. Drugs can cause a lot of things, including death. Something Mika is trying to stop as she visits schools around the world. Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News.